Hello and welcome to the narrated highlights of the article entitled Entrepreneurship Addiction Shedding Light on the Manifestation of the Dark Side in Work Behavior Patterns. I am April Spivak, Assistant Professor of Management and Decision Sciences at Coastal Carolina University and wrote this article with my fabulous co-author Alex McKelvey, who is Associate Dean of Undergraduate and Full-Time Master's Education as well as Department Chair and Professor of Entrepreneurship in the Department of Entrepreneurship and Emerging Enterprises at Syracuse University. This article continues to explore the potential dark side of entrepreneurship a stream that has been gaining attention, but more specifically continues in the conversation that examines psychological or neurological dysfunction among entrepreneurs. We kicked off this area of inquiry back in 2005 by questioning the long-standing assumption that entrepreneurship is a mentally healthy endeavor. Through our interviews with serial or habitual entrepreneurs, we discovered a subset of them that seemed to show strong signs of an addiction to entrepreneurship. That research gave rise to the recognition and introduction of this construct of entrepreneurship addiction, briefly defined as the compulsion to engage in entrepreneurial activities. Building on and expanding our earlier work, we set out to write this piece to move our research stream on the topic of entrepreneurship addiction forward. That is, we needed to disentangle the concept of entrepreneurship addiction from other recognized work patterns that seem, at least on face value, similar. These other concepts include workaholism, entrepreneurial passion, and work engagement. We walk the reader through the relationship of entrepreneurship addiction to these other constructs. For example, we introduce the model of a temporal relationship between work engagement and passion and the development of an entrepreneurship addiction work engagement and passion can jointly serve to encourage the ongoing engagement of an entrepreneur in the entrepreneurial activities, which are known to be intense, volatile experiences, which just so happen to be the same kind that are typically associated with the formation of an addiction. With increased engagement, it becomes increasingly possible for the entrepreneur to start to exhibit signs of entrepreneurship addiction. Specifically, we'd expect to see six things. First, we'd expect to see obsessive thoughts, where the entrepreneur can't stop thinking about entrepreneurship and is continually searching for novelties. Second, we'd expect to see withdrawal and engagement cycles, where it becomes more and more uncomfortable for the entrepreneur to disengage from entrepreneurial activities. Third, we'd begin to see very tight links between entrepreneurial behavior and the entrepreneur's personal feelings of self-worth. Fourth, we'd see increasing investments of time and money demonstrating an increase in tolerance. Fifth, we'd also see some neglect of the other areas that used to be important in the entrepreneur's life, such as friends or family engagements. Sixth, we'd also eventually see a variety of negative outcomes, including emotional ones like guilt, lying, or potentially withholding information about their entrepreneurial behavior from others. You could see increased levels of strain, and other physiological outcomes such as lack of sleep, weight gain, heart and gastrointestinal conditions. We then also discuss the differences between entrepreneurship addiction and workaholism. First, we discuss the very different contexts in which these behavioral patterns and psychological conditions develop, including things like environmental turbulence, the degree of responsibility for failure or success of the firm, and hence the degree of risk and ties to identity. Then we discuss differences in the basis for the formation of the addiction, such as for the entrepreneur, this would include the goals of creating something new and different, to be independent, or to create a legacy. Whereas for the workaholic, it may be to do a job with a high level of proficiency for their own self-recognition or for others to recognize, or simply for the enjoyment of the task itself. We acknowledge some behaviors between the constructs such as compulsive working and high drive to work are very similar, but then identify several behaviors that are exclusive to the entrepreneurship addict. After presenting the differences between entrepreneurship addiction and these other constructs in the nomological network, we spend some time highlighting many avenues for furthering this research. It's at this time that we would like to invite you to read our full manuscript and engage in this conversation with us. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoy our work.